A critical resource for Northeast Ohio families facing a critical funding shortage. News 5's Catherine Ross tells us why the Boys and Girls Club of Northeast Ohio could lose $3 million. Summer break is off to a running, playing, and jumping start. And they help me a lot, too, with work. That needs to do at the Boys and Girls Club of Northeast Ohio. I really love coming here, and I feel like it's a great experience for you to just come play, or even just work here to meet new people, explore, and things of that nature. Members at nearly 50 clubs take part in the chapter's activities, tutoring, and other opportunities. Their parents tell us the free childcare and positive role models are invaluable. I don't think that. The world is putting that even in the, the place that, look, we got to go to work and then our children have to have somewhere to go and learn. So I think that this is most needed. The organization is currently grappling with those needs and a $3 million funding shortfall. We're in this position not because of any fiscal mismanagement or any nefarious things that have happened. CEO Alan Smith tells us a loss of pandemic era programs, school district funding and federal dollars are all creating the challenge. The organization is now weighing which clubs and how many may have to shut down completely. What does that mean for some of those communities who might be losing one of the clubs? Yeah, I think it's a great loss because I think parents rely on us. Parents say they worry about the consequences of losing services. When kids don't have anything to do, they do bad things. You know, I know my kids. <laughs> They need to be busy. They got to keep going. Smith says the organization is working to minimize the impact and it's calling on the community to help bridge the gap. I would just say thank you to Northeast Ohio for what you've done and we're looking forward to what you might still do for us. And when I say us, I mean our young people. Now the Boys and Girls Club is still looking for corporate donors and community support. They're also planning to host several fundraising events in the coming weeks. You can find all of those details in this story on our website, news5cleveland.com. In Cleveland, Catherine Ross, News 5.